We're fighting for a kingdom. We're not going through what we're going through just for the hell of it. We're fighting for a kingdom. We're fighting for everlasting life. We're fighting for righteousness to rule once again on the earth. We're fighting for our power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, to set things back up in the proper order. Directly, a young student who is pictured with a teacher's foot on his neck. This was at a North, El Elementary, uh, North Texas elementary school. It did happen. The picture started circulating pretty quickly on Facebook. And Greenville ISD then put the teacher involved on administrative leave while they investigate. So what's the real story here? Well, some in the family tonight tell us that including that very student who you'll hear from, they don't see a problem with what happened. Our Nicole Nielsen explains from Greenville. I think she was doing it as a joke. Like... She didn't, like, put pressure on it or anything. Tonight, Zaylin Jackson, the 11-year-old student of Greenville ISD, seen in this controversial photo with his teacher's foot on his neck, is speaking out. I feel like she was just playing. She did me harm. For context, his mother, who didn't want to speak on camera, says she's known the teacher as a friend for years. Zaylin says he also considers her his friend. But he explains what happened yesterday at Lamar Elementary School. The teacher gave me a note and she said, my mom can uh, put put her foot on my neck if she had to. I did go with the joke because like, I don't think she was going to put pressure and she never did. But he does understand what it may look like to others. People think she was just trying to copy George Floyd. Including some of his family members who were deeply unhappy with the photo. No matter what race what person you don't put your foot on nobody else's child today the district superintendent said joke or not a photo like that should never have been taken you whether the student was a willing participant or not if it was a staged picture or not um it was still extremely highly inappropriate and should not have taken place and definitely should not have been photographed and though the picture has created quite a stir, Zaylin himself has a final message. I don't think she should be fired. In Greenville, Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News. And so you know, the district says tonight that their investigation into the teacher will include any witnesses and any people who may have also been involved in that. Tonight. <clears throat> all right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise on and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutation to the whole flick out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shout out one to the whole flick, the believers, the listeners that have came back, all right, to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Shah. You know, and as you can see, all right, you had this incident that happened in Texas. All right, well, this Edomite school teacher, all right, placed her foot, all right, on the neck, you know, of a, um, a young Israelite boy, you know. And at the end of the day, when we look at these things spiritually, all right, we understand exactly, all right, what that means. Now, the whole, you know, George Floyd situation, you know, we understand that, you know, it's a hidden hand. You know, that's why you had the officer with his hand in his pocket, you know, leaning I mean, uh, uh, kneeling on his neck, you know, and when you go into the Eastern culture, that represents, all right, uh, 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 a complete subjection or ownership, you know, when you place your foot over someone's neck. As a matter of fact, let's get that, you know, you see that picture there, but I just want to get that insert, all right, from, um, from this article, all right, Israel, IsraelBibleCenter.com. And get straight to the point all right it says in ancient israel setting your shoe on a property was seen as symbolic proclamation of ownership you see and that's the message that's being conveyed all right he saw something message through george floyd we own you niggas all right and then these joe six packs you know these these everyday edomites that we see all right it's in their spirit all right, that they own you, man. You see? That that's their spirit is that they own you niggas, man. You see? And and this little uh uh 
you know, this verdict, you know, of, of um, the cop, you know, Derek um, Coven, whatever the nigga name is, all right, has um really, you know, hurt the egos of these Edomites. You know, they look at it as a loss, all right, because the elites are playing, you know, mind manipulation games on the masses, all right. So her, you know, putting her foot, all right, on that Israelite's neck, you know, was showing what, man, that we still own you niggas. All right, the hell with that verdict. We own you niggas. You're our property, man. And that's how they always see it, man. You know, when you look at this picture here, all right. Now, I'm going to read it. It says this on the context. It says, imagine if these were your children and seeing the slave master children watching your children as footstools as they grow. What do you think your children will be viewed as? And you see this Israelite man, I mean, uh, this Edomite man. All right, with his hand, I mean, with his feet, you know, upon, you know, this young Israelite boy, you know, as a footstool and what that represents on the ship. All right, then you have this other Jake beside him, you know, like he got a what, a wash pot, you see? But see, that's what we're finna do, all right? And we've did it before when you go into our forefathers, but we're finna get it, all right? But let's go, all right, into the prophecy. You see, that's finna be undone, all right? This captivity is finna be undone, all right? And they finna go into captivity. They're finna, they finna be our possession, all right? According to the scriptures, Isaiah 51 and 22, it said, Thus said the Lord, all right, thus says thy Lord, all right, Yahweh by Shem Shai, and thy power that pleaded the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thy hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury, Thou shalt no more drink it again. Yeah, see, we had to drink of that cup of tribbling where these Edomites struck fear in us, man. You see, but that house of David is raised up, coming in that spirit, you know, as that time when David fought Goliath. You see, now we have faith in our power. Now, all right, uh, 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 that cup of trembling is being removed from us, man. We don't look at these devils with that fear. Now, you've seen in that video, all right, well, that 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 uh young Jake, you know, you can tell his mo mo has his his mother has raised him to be submissive, you see. And what type of parent will let a damn all right a a a a teacher put their foot on their child's neck, man? There's no uproar. Now let there have been that child's father that did that, man. You think the mother would have had the same response? She would have been on the outrage. She would have wanted Jake to get the death penalty, man. You see. But you women, all right, are the enemy, man. The majority of you women are the enemy, man. Just as the, the lesson, you know, that the brother did uh, earlier this morning, you know, um, priest of Baya, all right, going into the enemy has spoken, all right. You're grooming Jake to be submissive to the enemy, man, you know. And that's why the Most High just finna get rid of a lot of Israelites in the earth, man, especially you women in America, man. You Israelite women in America, man, you see. The devil, that was damn ridiculous, man. No fucking way, man. That was supposed you that was supposed to go unchecked, man. Now here it is. You are cut up with each other. Alright. Y'all fight anywhere. You'll fight another Israelite woman if she's pregnant. You know, you'll shoot at her. You know, she you a fighter with the with her holding the baby. You know, you go all out, you know, against another Israelite woman. But here it is, this Edomite woman puts her foot on your child's neck and you don't even want to be on camera, man. You see, but you 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 are you a superhero when it comes to getting your lip back with the Israelite man, you know, or another Israelite woman, man. You know, like that look a uh, 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 woman, all right, that look, all right, demon that got shot that she was finna stab another Israelite woman, you know. She got that blasted, man. You see? But then when it comes to Esau, Jake don't want no smoke, man. You know, now Jake has all the understanding in the world. You see, verse 23 said, but I will put into I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. See, now that's going to be in the hand of Esau Edom. You see, Esau is going to be in fear of his life for a thousand years, man. Every time he think of Israelite coming around, man, he going to be trembling, man. You know, and it says, which have said to thy soul, bow down that that we may go over and thou has laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. Yeah, and they're used to being 
uh, of Jake being in that submissive position, man. You see, this is what Vocal wants you niggas to do, man. When he when he comes, you know, uh, with his fake apologetics, is he if it's he defending the gospel? No, he wants you in this position. All right, that's what he wants. You see, but that's not going to happen. All right, with the elect, man, the elect. Have broken the <laughs> broken the yoke and burst the bonds, as the scriptures say, you know. But let's get that, all right, with our forefathers, you know. When you go into the time, all right, of um, of Joshua. All right, now this is Joshua ten. So like, all right, this is the book of Joshua, chapter ten. Now Joshua was conquering heathen kings on the way. All right. Um, to the um, to the promised land. All right, this is Joshua ten and twenty. It says, and it came to pass when Joshua and the children of Israel had made an end of slaying them with a very great slaughter till they were consumed, that the rest which remained of them entered into fenced cities, and all the people returned to the camp of Joshua at Machadah in peace. None moved his tongue against any of the children of Israel. Yeah, they was in complete silence. All right. Joshua kicking ass, taking names, man. Joshua, all right, and those Israelite men, that army, with the aid, all right, of the chariots. And it says, then said Joshua, open the mouth of the cave and bring out those five kings unto me out of the cave. And they did so and brought forth those five kings and said unto him out of the cave, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jamath, the king of Lachish, and the king of Eglon. And it came to pass when they brought out those kings unto Joshua, that Joshua called out for all the men of Israel and said unto the captains of the men of war, which went with him, come near, put your, put, put your feet upon the necks of these kings. And they came near and put their foot upon the necks of them. You see, complete submission of the heathen man all right possession rulership all right and that's coming again and it happened during the time of david all right when you go to um second samuel the 22nd chapter let's start at verse 30 all right this is um second samuel 22 and um 40 so like verse 40 it says for thou has girded me with strength to battle you know and that standard finna be lifted again for the men of israel them that rose up against me has thou subdued under me. All right. Thou has also given me the necks of my enemies that I may destroy them that hate me. And that's coming back. You see, that's coming back, man. We, we finna have complete authority and rule over these heathens beginning with you Edomites, man. All right. What else did David, you know, what did David see? What was a vision? <laughs> that david seen this psalms 110 and 1 it says the lord yahweh bashim al shah said unto my lord sit thou at my right hand until i make thine enemies thy footstool you see and who is the enemy that's coming back baby you know it's gonna be a, a, a change of roles man you see esau chilling you know drinking drinking you know probably some scotch all right that's going to be reversed you see and what does it say in um psalms i believe it's um is it psalms 108 yep psalms 108 and 9 it said moab is my wash pot over edom would i cast out my shoe you see rulership possession you know over Philistine will I trump. All right, those Hamites, man. So ultimately, it's a, a, a complete subjection and ownership of the heathen, man, which that was promised unto us, man. That's part of the blessing. You see? So you heathens, hey, it's finna come back. You know? All those things you were doing is finna come back. You see? Just as you had us in complete subjection and complete submission, you know, we finna do the same thing, man. You know, we finna do the same thing. That that's that time of y'all just having complete authority and you know say so over us. You can wake up and just feel like you know killing Jake at your will. You know our life was in your hands. 
you know, well, that's finna be reversed now, all right, a uh, Israelite, all right, he can just see a baby, uh, a Edomite baby in the kingdom and just take it and dash his head against the stones, man, at will, all right, according to what he want to do, just as y'all was hanging Jake and, you know, castrating Jake and burning Jake alive and dragging him behind trucks, hey, that's finna come back, you know, in a major way, man, you see? So when you go to Baruch 4.25, now I end it here. This is the book of Baruch chapter 4, verse 25. It says, My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. For thy enemy have persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his destruction. Yeah, we're going to see America destroyed. We're going to see this beast system destroyed. You know, World War Three, the return of Yahweh Shai. And, and guess what? We're going to see our enemies go into, all right, uh, captivity man Hardcore bondage Alright It says But surely thou shalt see his destruction And shall tread upon his neck You see Walk upon his neck man You know So that's the times that coming Alright So you Edomites You get your last look kicks You know You enjoy These few niggas that you got You know These niggas that you still got uh, uh, In subjection But guess what The house of David is here man The prophecies is in the earth man and now it's finna uh, uh, be a role reversal, man. All right? And that's the point. So Lord Williams, edified to the next time, Shalom.